Greetings, everyone. This is Jim Todd with Song Surgeon, and in this week's weekly video tip, we're going to look at one of the most common questions we get at the help desk, and that is, how do I use Song Surgeon with iTunes? And the simplest thing I can say as we start here is that you use the songs in iTunes the same way you would use any other songs that you have on your machine. There's really no difference, but because it's a common question, let's walk through the steps here. To open a song from iTunes, you could go to the File button, you could go to the Open button, or you could simply drag and drop onto the interface. But let's go Open, go to our Music folder. Within your Music folder, you should have iTunes. Within iTunes, you're going to likely have iTunes Media. Within there, you're going to have Music. And within the Music, then you're going to have folders with either album names or artist names. And here now, we're going from an artist's name to an album name and inside of that album finally then we see the actual song and so you can select one of these select open and that file will open in song surgeon and then you can play it you can change the key you can change the tempo you can do whatever you'd like with it so that's step one so step two then is how do we get files back into itunes well here again files that you manipulate or change in song surgeon back into iTunes in the same way that you would any other file. So let's say we've exported a file and that file then is going to reside in the default location that Song Surgeon places it. And in Song Surgeon on export, that file is going to be in your documents folder. Song Surgeon 5 export. Pick a song here. Let's say it was uh, this song Road Trip. So if you want to put that back into iTunes, you would simply copy this and then you would browse back to the iTunes folder again, which is music, iTunes, iTunes media, music, and then you would go back to the particular artist or album that you got it from. And then your only decision before you paste it back into this is do you want to keep the modified one and delete the original, or do you want to keep both of them? You just paste the file in here, and you've put that file back into iTunes. Step two, then, is really to talk about this Options button, because one of the things that you can do by setting the default paths is instead of having to browse each time to wherever the iTunes folder location is, you could go to the Options button, go to the default file open location, Instead of using the default path that Song Surgeon establishes, when you install the program, you could go over here, right-click this, Music, iTunes, iTunes Media, Music. You could set it here, or you could even set it to a specific album or artist if you wanted to. But if you set it here, at least then, once you save this and go to Open, it is going to take you to this set of folders that are inside your iTunes music. So it gets you where you want to be a lot quicker than having to drill down three or four or five or six different folders and subfolders. So that's number one. The second thing about the options button, which you may or may not also want to consider, is the export location. So again, on install, Song Surgeon establishes this folder structure, and there's an export folder. But if all the work that you're doing is within iTunes and you open a file within iTunes and then you make changes and then you export it and you want that exported file to go back to iTunes, you can, again, do the same thing we just have done for the default file open location. We can go to the little button over here on the right of the path, the three dots on it, click it, and then we can reset the default path here to iTunes. And now, not only on opening a file will you go to that default location, but on export, if you export your changes and make a new file, the path for that will be it's in the iTunes media folder again. So essentially now, we can on export send these files directly back into the iTunes folder. So those two tips might also be helpful. The last thing I'd like to talk about is the types of files that you can work with. And most files that you're going to have in your iTunes library are going to be MP3s or M4As 
or maybe AIF or WAVs, uh, WMAs. It could be a whole series of different files. And all of these files can be readily opened in Song Surgeon with no trouble. However, when you purchase files from iTunes, there are times in which you purchase a file that could be encrypted. And, and typically that is an M4P format, M4P, not, not MP4. So this M4P format is an encrypted file. And in order to be able to open that in Song Surgeon, you first must go through a series of steps in iTunes. So let's go through those steps. First of all, in iTunes, you go down to Preferences. And then from Preferences, you're going to go to the General tab. From the General tab, you're going to go to Import Settings. And that opens this next dialog. And from here, you're going to go to this Import Using field up here. And when you click these arrows, you're going to open up and see something like this, where you can choose the type of encoder you want to choose. And then once that's done and you've set it, you're going to select a song, in this case, Hey Mickey, and then we're going to go up here to File, Convert. We're going to create an MP3 version. And essentially that will export and change your M4P file into an MP3 file. And once you've converted that, you will then be able to open it up directly in Song Surgeon.